Bar Review Consortium, University of Nueva Caceres in Naga City, University of Pangasinan, and at, the, and at the Recoletas Law Center, both in Manila and Cebu. Currently, she is a professor of civil law at the University of Santo Tomas, at the FEU La Salle JD MBA Consortium Institute of Law, and here at the College of Law of San Sebastian. She was appointed Deputy Legal Counsel of the Roman Catholic Archbishop of Manila and Legal Counsel of the Diocese of Paranaque. Furthermore, she is working as a Senior Associate at the law firm of Romulo Mabanta, Benaventura, Sayoc, and De Los Angeles in Makati City. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm applause for Dr. Maria Liza A. Lopez Rosario. Okay, can we start with a prayer? In the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Holy Spirit, come dwell in us, fill our hearts with grace and with love. Our minds to our will day by day, grant us grace thy will to obey, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good afternoon to everybody. Um, I'm surprised with the setup now. I'm not aware that there is a balcony. So bukas manonood tayo ng ano yung bagong pelikula ngayon. <laughs> ano? Yung si ano to Angelica Panganiban ano. <laughs> Para at least lahat pupunta sa <laughs> Okay. Uh, forget about what you heard regarding uh, myself. We will focus on obligations and contracts. Now, since I have been given today for hours, tomorrow from 8 to 6.30, and then I'll see you again on Thursday, I have divided, or I have decided to divide it according to today. We'll be talking about obligations up to the different kinds of obligations. And then tomorrow morning, Extinguishment of obligations in the afternoon. We'll start with contracts. And then uh, Thursday, we'll be talking about nullity, annulment of contracts, resistible contracts, and enforceable contracts together with recent cases. So I just ask downstairs if you already have a copy of the recent cases in obligations and contracts. And I was told that you do not have a copy yet. So I'll be giving the copy tomorrow, although it's a little bit long, but more or less you can have an idea because I have decided to place the caption, a caption uh, above the title of the case to give an idea of what is the issue involved in that particular problem or in that particular case. Now, every now and then, I will also have to require you to connect yourself to the provisions in property, especially when we deal with contracts. We will also be connecting contracts, the provisions on contracts with credit transactions. Today, we will be connecting the general provisions in obligations with what you have learned under the preliminary title of the civil code. Because class, remember, when you take the bar exam, the questions are not grouped according to book under the civil code. There's only one general problem, and then it is incumbent upon you to recall among the 2,000 plus provisions, 
what is the specific provision that should be applied in order to resolve the problem. So at this time, it would be better that you have to know how to connect one provision with another provision. So wag kayo mo bibigla kung mamya, babalik tayo sa persons, tapos pagdating natin ng contracts, tatalon tayo sa property, at tatalon tayo sa credit transaction. Now, if you have any question, feel free to raise your hand, ask the question. I do not know how I can see other students in other room, but probably what you can do, you just write your question in a piece of paper, and then during the break, you can give it to me. Okay? So we start with the definition of what an obligation is. I think everybody knows the definition by heart. That's in Article 1156. Now, if you will notice, class, one important word that appears in the definition is the word juridical. Obligation is a juridical necessity to give, to do, or not to do. The word juridical, teka, gumagalaw ang ating ano. <laughs> Baka naman nakikita na, hindi kaya? Ba't gumagalaw? Yung kanina kaya? Mas lalong amano. I-forward mo kaya? Sige pa. Nakikita nung nasa likod? Hindi rin? Naku po, paano ba yan? Ma-i-enlarge mo pa kaya? Dapat siguro enlarge yan, no? Kahit ganyan, hindi nyo makita? So, sino lang nakakakita? Hanggang anong row? Hanggang first row lang? <laughs> Ay, no? Pinagpagurong ko to. Hindi nyo makita. <laughs> Just ko na. Totoo lang, hirap gumawa nito. Hindi ko alam yung PowerPoint. <laughs> Sige, huwag kayong mag-alala. Ma'am, yung gabi, papaayos ko sa anak ko kasi hindi ko pinag-aralan to sa law school. <laughs> so, pagpasensyahan nyo na, yun nasa likod. Okay, anyway, what I'll do, I'll ask the office to give you the outline because this might help you during your review. Okay, this is a summary of what obligations and contracts is all about.